MTTE podcast. What is the instrument commonly used for measuring horizontal and vertical angles? The answer is theodolite. A theodolite is an instrument used to calculate vertical and horizontal angles. Today, they can be seen used by teams across building and construction sites. You can't miss them. They'll usually be perched on an orange or yellow tripod. In the old days, theodolites were used by governments to survey large areas of land. This was to ensure the accurate representation of terrain on maps. It became necessary for government agencies to create fixed points from where coordinates could be triangulated. This is how triangulation stations, or trig stations, were born. Accurate land surveying works best if you're able to see at least two other trig stations from your base station location. You need to be up on a high area or somewhere you can see landmass around you. It's the reason many trig stations are installed on the tops of prominent mountains or hills. Most trig stations are constructed simply, either as single concrete pillars or a series of metallic poles fitted into rock or pavement. Built into these structures is a mounting point for a theodolite. In certain parts of the world, mountainous terrain can make it necessary to build a more complex structure. Such is the case with one trick station in the central highlands of Sri Lanka. It's just over an hour's tuk-tuk ride from the city of Kandy in a town called Gampula. We are going to Amburu Wawa. Gampula is most famous for the Ambulu Wawa Biodiversity Complex. This complex is touted as being the nation's first multi-religious sanctuary, home to a Muslim mosque, Hindu kovil, Catholic church, and stylized Buddhist stupa, also known as the Ambulu Wawa Tower. The Ambulawawa Tower is 3,560 meters above sea level, making it the perfect spot for a theodolite. This tower, like all good trig stations, offers 360-degree views of its surroundings. Visitors can climb into the clouds for spectacular views of mountains, forests, and rivers. The ascent to the top is via a narrow spiral staircase on the outside of the structure. So narrow is the staircase that designed into the center of the tower itself are tiny cave-like burrows. They serve their purpose when your climb to the top is met by someone on their way back down. Simply step inside the burrow to allow the others to pass. Most trick stations are straightforward constructions. They serve as simple navigational guides for explorers. The Ambuluwawa Tower, on the other hand, offers an experience. The temple dates back to the 13th century. It was built during the time of King Buwane Kabahu IV and was at the center of the Gampula Kingdom all through his reign. While the tower climb isn't for the faint of heart, Sri Lanka's scenic highlands, coupled with the chance to climb above the clouds, are enough to make visitors reconsider. This episode of MTE Podcast was designed to take you on a journey to the Sri Lankan highlands. I hope you enjoyed the trip and can't wait until we're all able to travel again. MTE Podcast is produced by me, Niall Fernandez. Each episode includes bonus video content available at MTE Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for listening. Chat next week.